John Lusk here of Lusk Archery Adventures. Series testing, successful hunting. I've got another cool broadhead to test for you today, and it's the Thorn XV. You might have seen some of my other broadhead tests of the other models of Thorns. If not, just uh, type in the YouTube search bar Lusk and Thorn, and they'll come up, because they've really got some cool stuff. But this one looks like it, it might be their best yet. So let's, uh, let's zoom on in here and go through some of the design features and specifications, and then put it to the test. And I'm going to be using all of my testing protocol for 2022, which is uh, using my Bowtech CP28, set at 72 pounds, and my Bowtech SR6 at, uh, for some of the shots. And then I'm using the, uh, the Bishop FOC King Eros for most of the shooting, but then for the really hard impact stuff, I'm using the Bishop Fat Eliminator because they're just so doggone tough. All right, let's check out this Thorn XV. So here's a good look at the XV, and one of the things you're going to note as compared to another model that they have that I've tested before is this conical tip. And that's as opposed to this rip tip or whatever they called it before that has little prongs that, that uh, grab onto tissue. I think this is going to aid in penetration. And the way it works is there's little, this little shear pin, okay? They come with, uh, each pack comes with six shear pins. They're orange for compound bows and they're black, a little bit uh, stronger for crossbows. And they just slide through this hole when the blades are aligned like that and you just pull it from the bottom all the way through to where it's flush right there and then you just take a knife and cut it off right there and then that is your blade retention system and then so on impact boom the blades right here encounter the the resistance of the hide and they're forced back and they slice through that shear pin right there so I'm just gonna pull it through so I can save my shear pin and so as they slice through that, the blades reach their full cutting diameter of two inches. And there's a little bit of a, a swing to them, a little bit of a pivot uh, as well once they're fully deployed. And they're, they're not locked open. They can go back and forth, so they're not considered barbed by, by any means. Now, the blades, by my measurement, are 0.030 inches thick. They're stainless steel. The, uh, the ferrule is made of a 7075 aluminum. So, like I always say, if you're going to use aluminum for weight purposes, 7075 is a really good one to use. It's stronger than some steels. So you'll notice here, and this is the 125 grain model, it also it has this washer, and that washer weighs 25 grains. So I imagine if I got the, uh, the 100 grain model, it just wouldn't have that washer. So that's what makes the extra weight there, uh, that, that weighted washer like this. So I'm really eager to put this head to the test and see how it performs. Two twenty five. It penetrated five and three quarter inches. Three twenty five. It penetrated through forty two layers. The and here you can see the holes that it made in the steel plate. It really made nice holes.
Here it is after impacting the concrete. And you know, this head did really well through three shots of the MDF and even really surprisingly well through two shots uh, of the steel plate which is impressive. Um, but then the zero penetration test hitting into the concrete, it just couldn't handle that. It just uh, broke off. And you can see these were the pieces I could find. There was other pieces that I, I wasn't able to find. I hope I don't step on them. Um, but you know, this is just testing this concrete test. Please don't bash it, you know, bash the head and say, you know, wow, look how weak it is. I mean, this is a really extreme test. I, I'm slinging 700 grains. That's his total arrow setup through a 72 pound bow at like six or seven yards. So, I mean, that takes a lot of impact there, a lot of force hitting that. Um, this definitely did really well through the durability tests that matter most, but you do see the outer limits of the durability in this kind of a hard impact. But it only accounts for 3% of the total 100% scale. So overall, the durability of this Thorn XV was really impressive. So what did you think of the XV? Hey, I tell you, this is my favorite thorn so far, all right? I really liked all their heads, but this one did a lot better. There's improved durability, improved penetration with this, this new tip. I really like it. And, and flight, I mean, they're really in a class by themselves when it comes to flight. I mean, there's just such a low profile. This and like the, the Severs and a few others, the, the Cobra Barbarian, some others, when there's just very little exposed blade, they're going to fly super well. And this one certainly did. So uh, check out the score sheet and see how it performed in the areas that matter to you the most and see if this might be a good fit for you. But great job, Thorne. Keep up the great work.